Schubert's song-like themes are often mentioned, and there's an especially beautiful one in the first movement of this trio. We have here a very nice 1826 Konrad Graf piano. Konrad Graf was perhaps the most famous builder in Vienna, and Schubert would have played his trio on just such a piano. Here we have a very beautiful modern Steinway piano. Let's play it on this. This piano has a length of tone that would have been totally unknown to Schubert or any of his contemporaries. And one generally thinks that the more singing melody you have, the more you want a kind of a long tone. But I really believe it works very much to the detriment of this theme. This piano has a quite sharp attack, in spite of its very mellow quality, and an immediate decay. That note drops. And that means that the difference between this note and that note could be quite great. If I try to do that over here, that note will simply sound da, da. And so one doesn't do it. One always sort of keeps singing. And this is the conventional way that people play these things. I think it's much more expressive. Another aspect of this music which I think is absolutely central and which all of the sources of the time tell us is central is the rhythmic vitality. And you have also at the beginning of this trio, the piano has... Yum, bum, 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 bum. It's very, very March-like. Uh, I have never heard anybody play that on a piano like this and I, I think it can't be done. Nobody would dream of trying to do that on a piano like this. If you play the second beat softer than the first, it sounds like it just sort of dropped out. So you hear... And the rhythmic vitality is, is really missing. <laughs> 